Let's move on to another uh, piece of property uh, that's uh, part of the built environment that's in play right now, the Harley Clark Mansion in Evanston. Tell us about this structure. Well, um, this is a 1927 Tudor Revival mansion on the lakefront in Evanston, just east of Sheridan Road. It's uh, right next to the lighthouse uh, in Evanston. It uh, has um, a beautiful exterior uh, with six monumental chimneys, a red tile roof, uh, all kinds of Tudor Revival detailing, beautiful pane windows, and it's been empty for three years since 19, uh, pardon me, since 2015, when the Evanston Art Center left for other quarters. So now the question is, what to do with it? And there's a group of private citizens, who most of whom live nearby, who have proposed funding a demolition of this mansion. And, but uh, their argument is that the, and, and my understanding the city's argument, is that it's in really bad shape. It's not in And bad. would take a lot of money to fix it up. Well, it's not in bad shape. Structurally, it is a sound building, according to respected engineers who have looked at it. It's a little down on the heels, but, you know, so is the Reliance building before it became the, the Hotel Burnham. Look, the estimate that this engineering firm said that it would take, the, the cost estimate, to get this building habitable and usable is only about four hundred thousand dollars. That's but the not, city of Evanston says it's a lot more when you factor for a in. full blown restoration. The question really here has to do with time. In other words, um, the idea is that first of all, this is a building of great quality, as you could see from the videos. Uh, second of all, it's um, we don't necessarily do full blown restorations all at once. Often they're phased in. They happen, the key thing is to keep the building on life support, to, to spend that, say, $400,000 to fix it, and then to ultimately uh, create time for the city to come up with a development plan, either publicly funded or privately funded, that would allow the building to have a brighter future than it does today. Let's talk about